the first large tree I climbed. It was amazing because you get up 25 meters and the branches are this wide, you know, this tote that's growing within the canopy. The leaf litter within those crotches would have been there for maybe a thousand years. So it's this ancient Jurassic world that we don't really know much about. Kia ora, uh, my name is Frederick Jelm. I'm a tree climber, arborist. Started working with Kauri probably eight, nine years ago. So we just finished off a job the last two months collecting Kauri coats, uh, all the way from north down to Tauranga uh, with 14 iwis. Each forest we come to, we meet a new iwi or a hapu within that iwi and they take us through their culture protocols and they welcome us on with the karakea onto their land and a lot of times they come climbing with us as well. So we're actually bringing non-climbers up within the canopy to collect cones. Because it's quite emotional, a lot of them has worked in those forests for a long time while families and whakapapa from those trees. So if, if they can be with us when we're collecting it, it's obviously going to be even bigger when it comes back, the seeds of them, they start planting it, you know. Maori has, uh, I mean, they have a intergenerational thinking. And that's probably the most important thing when you're talking about an ecosystem where the trees can be up to 2,000, maybe even up to 4,000 years old, you know. So I think that's fantastic to be part of that in the holistic way they are thinking. They're not bound by elections and funding. They are actually the kaitiakis of the land. I mean, that's probably where westernized philosophy maybe fails, that we are actually seeing us as a higher creature to Mother Nature. But Maori doesn't do that. I mean. Every tree is, is, is a bit of them, and every tree that dies is a part of them. It's, 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 it's fantastic to be part of that, and actually learning from Māori. Well, the biggest fear is to not be a vector yourself, to actually understand if the job you're doing is justifiable for the greater good of Cody. Because sometimes you want to go in and look at amazing trees, and I mean, I love Cody trees, but to really understand is this job necessary to be done? Are we doing it correctly? Are we getting the most out of it as for the lowest impact of what we're doing? Of course there's hope, there's always hope. I mean, we see, we see healthy trees within our forests. I mean, the biggest hope is coming in the Tamarikis, you know, the next generations, because they're probably going to have a better understanding of Mother Nature than us, because they have too. <laughs>